I cannot uh, tell you how long this episode's good. Oh. 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 The dragonfly wing. I'm guessing there's one of two possibilities. Either the amount of dragonfly wing on here is so thin that it's basically invisible. Or, okay, that. There's three options. That. There isn't any of the membrane in between. Or the membrane got all shrunk. They're shrunken up by whatever the heck they use for preserving everything, and it's no longer really noticeable. I mean, I'm seeing bubbles, which makes me think it's just thin. That is interesting. I thought that, that okay, seriously. Look right here. Make that more in focus. And tell me that does not look like a rose uh, flower stem. Like, seriously, doesn't that look like a... But this is tiny. Like, yes, it looks almost exactly like one. But it legitimately... Like, you know, people are like, well, what if it is? It isn't, trust me. This is... In, like, this makes... And, uh... I don't want to look enormous. This is tiny, like... Uh... Legitimately hard to see with the naked eye, tiny. Like, I can't see the spikes on it, you know? Those yellow spikes. Can't see them. So there's a chunk broken off, isn't there? Okay. We got this, which has that yellow chunk that's very large. I don't know what's going on here. Separate two. This is what I first saw. This is what made me think, oh, stick. It's not a stick. It's too tiny to be a stick. So this is a dragonfly wing, but not what I expected. I'm guessing the spikes are for, like, I don't know, um, nutrient flow or something. Because, I mean, the wings in the cell have to stay alive somehow. Or, like, nutrients or blood or oxygen or something. I mean, I know it's not normal blood. Like, I think a spider has something like a hemolymph or something like that. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. So, uh, I can't, I didn't do that. Oh, yeah. Ant, er, spiders are interesting. But, yeah, I also did a lot of research on ants a long time back for, like, fourth grade. But I did a lot of research beyond fourth grade level. <laughs> Keep in mind, I tended to do that. I would just research way ahead. But, anywho, so there's a blue string right there, which I'm leaning towards that being um basically whoever made this slide kind of screwed up and uh contaminated it with something blue string like cuz it doesn't kind of it doesn't really fit the surrounding area it looks almost artificial you know like post in the comments whether or not you agree with me um, but yeah, don't you think it looks kind of artificial? You know? Like, it froze. Let me just give it a moment. But yeah, like, the rest look kind of like a stick, which you do not expect of a dragonfly wing. But it at least looks like something you would see in nature. That just looks like a string you could pull off of someone's jacket. Or, you know, shirt or something. I don't know. It really froze. Let me, uh... I don't think there's anything there that I don't want you seeing, so let's move it back over here. Okay, let's go back to the, uh, yeah, like, that looks artificial in comparison, like, this, okay, like, see, like, look at the ends, it looks like it almost, like, like it was broken and that something snapped meanwhile on the edge there's this random blue string even though I can't focus on it okay so there's random blue string uh, which seems to be above the stick part of the dragonfly wing and 
does not look like it's made of various different strands, so I can't prove that it's artificial, but it does look artificial. But yeah, you compare that to that. With this, like you see, uh, as is expected of bugs, see like strands, not strands, um, spikes pointing off in all directions. It, like, it looks serrated almost. As almost everything made by, or, or, you know, made by, uh, two bugs. <laughs> Sorry, really bad joke. Anyway, as anything bug type <laughs> Pokemon. Um, Sorry, again, I keep coming up with... I don't even tell jokes because I think they're funny to other people. I make, I amuse myself by telling the jokes. Anyway, but see, it looks serrated. As, like, remember, the, um... The, uh, fruit fly, the spiders, the... One grasshopper I looked at, I believe. The cricket I looked at that was covered in mold. They all have that look. Yet, anytime I've encountered something like this, either it's been something I put there separately, or it came off way too easily for it to be attached. I'm leaning towards contamination. The one thing that's confusing me is the bubbles. I mean, they, they could, it's entirely possible those aren't bubbles, that they're just some kind of like rock. Like tiny, tiny salt chunks. But like rounded ones, but it, I'm leaning towards bubbles. Why are there bubbles? Let me press down on this. Not sure what I did there. Okay, apparently nothing. I am um, pressed down on the thing, and I wasn't sure if I did anything. Okay, it does kind of look like I did something, but. I'm guessing this is about the, somewhere closer to the base of the wing, considering how it gets thicker right here. If you think with a wing, you want to become thinner as it goes out, so because the, uh, the farther away it is from the uh, start, the less it has to hold, the less it is beyond it, and thus the less weight it's attached to. But because you, if you look, it seems hey, it looks like a tree almost, like a bunch of branches. It starts out with the trunk, and then it goes over here. Small offshoot. Keeps going small offshoots. Keeps going small offshoot. Keeps going small offshoot. And then off to the small offshoots. Another small offshoot. And there's another one. Over. But the main difference seems to be the offshoots attach. Which makes sense considering the wing, so I guess the membrane would go around in here. Weird thing is, I always was operating under, under the misconception that every chunk on uh, Dragonfly's wing was roughly the same shape. Like, see, this is like a pentagon. This is like a pentagon. This is kind of like a, a pentagon. Sorry. Rectangle, right here. Yeah, I guess they are all, there are a lot of pentagons, but still. There's a rectangle right there. A rectangle right there. Like, see, this is an obvious pentagon. It's more of an octagon that doesn't go out too far. This one's more obvious, but yeah. Overall, I always thought it was just octagons. I always thought it was the stereotypical Disney version of a fly's eye kind of look. You know? Or soccer ball, you know? But no, it was... Seriously, though, that this is always something that has astounded me since I started doing the microscope stuff. This looks like a branch from a tree. Yeah, it's a dragonfly wing. That is just cool. Oh, well, it makes sense. I mean, I mean, you know, the shape overall works, and the overall design works. So it wouldn't it, it would make sense for it to be reused, you know? Um. So yeah, I think yeah, it makes sense. Some sense, you know. See, I know dragonflies and trees are not very closely related, but it makes sense that some things in nature, even if they aren't closely related, um, would look very, very similar. You know, survival of the, fi of the survival of the fittest and all that. You know, like apparently, um, eyes showed up seven separate times, not even attached to each other. 
So yeah, it makes sense for uh, stuff to look like other stuff. But seriously, that that looks legitimately like a rose stem, which is interesting. Anyway, that was a dragonfly wing.